Hello everybody, this is Tekka. I'm excited for this video because what I'm going to be doing is showing you the uh, alpha version of a community build of Manjaro, which features the Sway desktop environment. So this is the desktop. First, I'm going to kind of show you around and then we're going to go into Firefox and show you the Reddit post where I originally saw this and show you the GitHub and all that. So this is Manjaro with Sway. If you're not sure what Sway is, Sway is a window manager that is built off of i3, the i3 window manager but this uses Wayland in the background instead of Xorg. Additionally, it is compatible with a vast majority of the features from the i3 window manager. And if you're using i3, you can use your i3 configuration files with this as well. Now, taking a look at this, this is our desktop. One thing that's super helpful is if you go shift mod key, which mod key is the windows key, question mark, you will get the uh, Manjaro Sway Edition man page. Uh, Manjaro Sway Edition is the name, and these are all the shortcuts that you have available to you by default right here. So this is very handy if you're just getting into it and you want to be able to move things around. Again, this is a tiling window manager, not the uh, traditional floating or stacking window manager that most people are using. So, and it gives you your utilities, everything that's running from the yay package manager, the ranger file manager, everything like that. I have been playing around with this for a little bit just to actually make sure that I can record this. Um, so to close out a program, it's just mod shift Q. And then if we go ahead and do mod D, this will open up kind of the uh, application menu where we can see everything going on in our system. You could just do a quick search. So I installed a actual graphic user face file manager files. So you just type that, open it up and it will perfectly tile your window. You can do mod and enter, which will open a instance of the terminal. And let's do it again, just to kind of show what's going on here. So right now we have three windows. This is the default layout. It's really easy in this to move things around. It's actually a little bit easier than the default i3, at least how they, or how the um, author developed this Manjaro edition. You just hold down the windows key and you can use the arrow keys to go and select what is your focus window. And if you hold down the mod key and shift, this is how you can kind of change between the layouts and actually move the windows around. So that is very, very handy. I went ahead and installed NeoFetch. So I'm gonna close out a couple of these windows here real quick. Type in NeoFetch, uh, tab enter, and you can see exactly what's going on here. This is the base install. The only things that I've installed after the fact was that files application and NeoFetch itself. So we can see that it, by default it's running the 5.4 kernel. Like I said, it is an alpha, so one of the kind of glitches I'm noticing is if you do use the mouse, which really isn't the point of a window manager, so it's not that important, but it does kind of matter. You see if I click here and drag, the uh, it's off by a little bit, but that might be a virtual box thing, but time will tell. Uh, you see the window manager is Sway. You have your icons and everything here and more information. To actually quit out of Windows, I don't think I said it's the uh, mod key shift and Q to quit out. Uh, you could click right here too to get to that kind of application menu. Scroll through here and you could check everything out. Uh, for example, Chromium new window. Chromium is in there by default and I think the uh, uh, for some reason the developer version of Firefox. So you have Chrome and then you could go ahead and open up files and then open up a terminal instance and everything's super quick, super responsive. The resolution on this virtual machine is a little bit lower than maybe your display, so it might look a little bit better on yours. You can see that by default there is a gap there, so I prefer that. I like there to be a little bit of gap just so I can kind of see my wallpaper. You can see as I move my mouse over these, that kind of gives you a little uh, transparency effect. And I can actually see it. It does do that when I use the arrow keys to kind of indicate what window is your current focus window in addition to the green little border that goes around those windows. Now closing everything out here, it's a little bit harder to check out all the software on here out of the gate because it's all text-based, but you see there's Termite, it has add remove software, which if I open that up, it's just the PadMac that you'd expect on Manjaro. It is completely up to date. Go ahead and close that out. You see we have the uh, Chromium. Uh, we have the Firefox Developer Edition. It has Firewall. It has HTOP, Kvanta Manager. Customized look and feel. So even though this is a window manager, you do have easy options to go in and actually change how everything looks. 
you can see that it is instant. From when I select those, you can change the colors, the icon themes, just about anything you'd expect to be able to do in i3 or really any other desktop environment that you have available to you. Another thing I really like about this is actually how the workspaces go. So if I go ahead, let's say open up files here, and if I hit mod 2, this will take me to the second workspace, and then I could open just like a open up a terminal. And then I could just use the Windows key or the mod key and do one and two to switch in between those workspaces. So that is a really nice feature. And like if I go to the third one, this is now the next empty workspace. Uh, going into the actual UI here, uh, right here, if we click on this, this is your network manager. So here's where you could go through, connect to Wi-Fi and edit any network settings. Let me go ahead and go to quit. Uh, you have Bluetooth options here, which just opens up this. I have no Bluetooth adapters available. Now, if I go ahead and click on any of these two, it's just going to open up an instance of HTOP, which is a beautiful system monitoring tool. Close this out. I have volume control here, so you could just go and use your arrow keys to adjust your volume through this. Um, mod shift Q to get rid of that. You have a little calendar widget here. That doesn't really do too much other than show you the time and date. So quickly jumping over to Firefox here. This is where I originally saw it, full credit and disclosure. I was scurrying around in Reddit, Manjaro Sway edition. Uh, this was about a day ago this was posted. If we go over to the uh, GitHub for this, uh, you can see a lot of information as well as some of the screenshots for some of the stuff that I just showed you. If you do download the ISO, which there will be a link in the description of the ISO of this to test it out, the username and password is Manjaro. Uh, I just remembered something. Let's jump back into VirtualBox. Now, one thing I wanted to show you real quick, if we go mod, shift, and E, this is the screen that we get to uh, shut down, log out, reboot, and all that good stuff. One thing that I think is really cool is if you go ahead and just lock it, it takes your screen black, and all you do is type in, start typing your password. So... You can see when I type it in, it kind of has that cool ring. Enter, and we are in. So that's that's just something that I thought was cool. Uh, go back to Firefox Split. If you're interested in learning more about Sway, you go to swaywm.org, and this is their actual website. Now, Sway, like I said, is just a fork of i3 that uses Wayland. If you're interested in learning more about what Wayland is and what it does, the Linux experiment has a great video explaining it and the benefits and cons of Wayland, so I would recommend you check that out since this video is just about over. Now as this Manjaro edition and just the Sway desktop environment in general continue development and progressing, I will be checking it out more and more. I do have to say what the author of this Manjaro edition did so far with his configuration and setup of this is absolutely wonderful, especially going in and being able to get just a quick help screen mod shift question mark. This I think is super handy. I was definitely going back and forth between this quite a bit when I was initially playing around with this, just so I could be able to know the actual hotkeys and stuff to make this video. So I hope you have a great day. Tell me what you think about this Manjaro edition and Sway. Like I said, there'll be a link in the description to download the ISO if you'd like to try it out. Again, this is an alpha that was released yesterday as of recording this. So I can't really recommend that you put it on hardware quite yet, but if you want to go for it, try it out and tell me what you think. Other than that, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you absolutely hated it, dislike it. Subscribe for more content like this. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.